Hey guys, it's um Zoe. Um sorry, it's kind of late, I guess. We'll have around time since anyway, but everything's been so crazy I kinda of forgot it was Thursday. I had my niece's um fourth birthday party and we were getting ready for that and had that Homework. I still have homework Back to do. Chemistry, language because I couldn't see in class, and Spanish. Yay! Um, but yeah, things have been crazy. Like, I have so much I need to do. I never get. I always have tons I need to do. Ugh. Okay. So, do we have any questions? There is a question. Okay. Um, Lauren, I'm sorry you're going through such a hard time. I know it's rough when people they don't understand and they don't believe you and they question you and you just won't. Yeah. I'm sorry, you've been having to deal with that so much, and everything's been so rough. I hope things start getting better for you. Um, but you asked, how has your school been to you? And mine, overall, because I mean, I've heard tons of horror stories on stuff like that. Mine, oh, my chest hurts. I always get chest pain at night time, I don't know why. Mine, um, mine's overall has been pretty good. I mean, there have been bumps, and, and school itself is not designed for, I don't know, the sick. Because, so, I mean, there's the things about, like, just the way the school runs that, I can't figure out how to get around, and, like, even their accommodations, it's like, really? Like, oh, yeah, you can take meds at this time, but you can't have the meds with you. So you have to go to the complete other side of the school to go to the nurse's office to get the meds and then walk all the way back to your class, and that's extra walking, which I try not to do extra walking because, yeah, I can't walk very much like really and I don't know there's a bunch of everything it's just kind of ridiculous um but overall mine's been pretty good um yeah I kind of keep to myself though I don't know. anyways um Stephanie your hair looks cute. Your hair looks so cute. You cut off a lot. Oh my gosh. Um, I had something like that last year. I'll probably do it, be doing the same thing later this year when mine gets to the length I want to get to. That's kind of what I, what I always do. I don't cut my hair very often. So I'll let it grow really long and then I'll cut off like a whole bunch and I've donated I don't know how many ponytails I've donated. Two or three, probably. Um, but started because I have a friend, cousin ish person. She's not my cousin, but, um, and she, she was diagnosed with brain cancer when she was 18 months old. She's nine now and still fighting because it keeps coming back. Um, and, well, I'm a gingy and you know, of a rare hair color. And she has the exact same hair color as me. Our hair matches perfectly. We have the exact, she's my ginger buddy. And, um, but she's hardly ever had hair because she's always been doing chemo and stuff, like her whole life. She was 18 months old. She could barely get, like, you know, one of those little baby ponytails, like, at the top of her head. Mom was so excited then because she could finally give her a ponytail. It's like little, little tiny baby ones, like up here. 
and I mean, she's never really. It's yeah, I mean, she's had hair a few times in her life. It's never gotten very long. I don't think it's ever gotten like, past her ears. Uh, how much she can grow in like six nine months? I think that was like her longest remission was nine months. But that's kind of why I started doing that was because I mean. It's such a rare hair color. She couldn't ever find a wig that was, um, like the same color as her hair. And gingers can't pull off brown hair. We can't pull off much other than red. Maybe blonde, but, mm. So that's kind of, she's a huge part of the reason why I started doing that. And so I've done that a lot and I plan to in the future. I think the last time I did, I cut off like a whole foot of hair. Because I used to have really long hair. Um, yeah. And I'm hoping to do that again once it gets long enough. Because I can't stand having my hair short. It has to be at least to my shoulders. So then you have to cut off like at least 10 inches, I think, for that. So it has to get to a certain length. And I like it long, so. But I also like cutting it off. So yeah, your hair looks really cute. I spent a lot of time on this, but... This week's been. I think I've been doing pretty well health wise. Although my chest hurts pretty bad right now. And I couldn't see in language. But overall, I mean, I've done pretty well. I've made it through each day of school. And I got to go to the band marching contest and watch them march. And I didn't think I was going to do very well with that. I thought I was going to end up like passing out within a few minutes because the heat and everything but I made it I did okay I mean I sat in shade but even sitting in the shade I you know, so but I did great and I guess that's gonna be my question I just thought about this because I had some conversation with someone the next day um I'll call this my topic I forgot it was Thursday so it's been crazy I didn't really wasn't all that prepared for this video. Not like it ever. No. Um. But. Oh so. I thought I did really well during that. And I was really proud of myself. And. But towards the end, because, I mean, our, that's another thing, it was at the football field, and, well, obviously, and ours is, it's really nice. It's called, better than some college football fields. We're serious about our high school football here. It's like everything. Little country, small town. It's how we are. But, um, so it's really nice, but it's not all that, it's really hard for me to get in and out of, because it's large, and there's a lot of walking, and the home. The home side is, like, on the complete other side from the parking lot, so you have to walk a lot to get over there, and then if you have to go down onto the field for something, there's, like, a bunch of steps or the ramps, which, they have, like, the winner's ramp and the winner's ramp, and the winner's ramp isn't quite as steep. They're both pretty steep, but it's not quite as steep, but the loser's ramp is, like, insanely steep. No ramp should ever be that steep. And so, when I have, if I ever have to go up that, like, that's hard, I don't know, it's hard to get around for me, because of stairs and walking and ramps, I don't do all of all of that, and it requires a lot of that, and so there's that too, so there's heat, and then the walking, and stairs, although I didn't, you know, avoid stairs, I just sit wherever I can, it requires the less, the least amount of Stair walking. Um, but towards the end, I got pretty weak and my legs weren't strong enough to um, propel myself up the stairs to get up them. And they're trying to give out and stuff, so my friend had to like help me out. And my mom's car was nearby, so she took me in my mom's car because it was closer than hers. And yes, yeah, so my friend was helping me out. 
and then the next day, um, someone, a friend of my mom's was talking to me, because I was sitting in her office, and it just hurts. Um, she said something about, like, she was talking to my friend's mom, the friend that helped me out, her mom, and she's like, how are you doing? And I was like, I'm alright, and she said, well, oh, I said you weren't doing all that well yesterday, and this is, stuff like this happens all the time, and so when I realized, like, thing, these things aren't normal, like, I'll be walking on my knees or sitting on the floor, and people are like, what? Especially when I'm walking on my knees. I get the weirdest looks and people like laugh at me. Whatever. But, I mean, sometimes I just realize I'm like, oh yeah, that's normal. People don't do this, do they? You know, and stuff like that. I was in the store and I hate shopping, but my cousin was with us. We were visiting her and we decided to go to Hobby Lobby with her. I love Hobby Lobby, but. And I'm just like plop down on the floor. It's feel bad. I'm just, I don't know what I did. She, like, looks at my mom and says, like, this is normal? And I'm like, oh, yeah. And, oh, wow. I just kind of, I just forgot what normal is like. I didn't, don't realize anymore that these things aren't normal. Um, it's not normal for your vision to just randomly, like, for you to just randomly not be able to see or randomly not be able to walk or breathe, like, you know, and random pains all over your body. I just forgot, I forget those things aren't normal. And it's kind of weird to me, I'm like, oh yeah, normal people don't do that, do they? And so what I thought about, what's funny about that was, it was just like, I was actually doing great that day, but I guess they thought I was doing bad. <laughs> like, that was a great day, but okay. This is why another thing is people ask me how I'm doing and I never know how to answer. Because they say, Oh, I'm good and what I mean by that, like my definition is good is way different than most people. So that means I wasn't in like my definition of good is I wasn't in so much pain I I I, I didn't pass see. It's different. I don't know how to... It's way different than most people's. Like, yeah, I had a great day, you know? I may not have been able to see for half the day or walk for half the day. And, you know, I may be in a fair amount of pain now, but I had a really good day because I made it to school and I got to go to lunch with my friends and that's... Woo! Woo! Like, I don't know. But people's definition is so different from mine, and so then they'll assume that I'm doing good. They're like, oh, did you make it through school today? I'm like, no, but, you know, or, I don't know, I'm not making much sense. Can't think straight. Can't believe this video is that long. Don't even remember what I said was going to be my question. I'm gonna end it because I'm long and I don't it's long and I don't know what I'm talking about, but I just think it's funny. I never know how to answer when people ask how I'm doing. So just ask like how do you how do you typically like scale that and scale your answers? I don't know. If that makes any sense, I'll let that be my question. Probably. Um yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Bye!